Hey, welcome back, you beast, to another video here on the channel. Today, we're back in the How To Tame series, where I'll be showing you how to tame an otter. Now, otters are very, very valuable for early game and for Ragnarok. All game for Ragnarok, because Ragnarok's got that death snow. Um, as always, I'm going to show you how to tame these guys, the best way to tame them, and then I'm going to show you all their abilities, and hopefully we get, like, a full look at the creature in depth. So first of all, otters you normally find in ponds. Um, I've actually spawned the otters into this pond to save me looking. But um, otters normally spawn in ponds and you need to feed them fish. Uh, but not fish meat, actual fish. So if we can see one somewhere, there's one over there. So you get yourself a pike, kill a fish, drag the body and then swim after the otter. And then as soon as you get close, you go feed fish. Okay, my rates, that happens straight away. But for you, it may take a few times. That is method one on how to tame an otter. That's basically the principle. You kill a fish, and then you take it to him. Really cool. So let's chuck this guy down there, because we don't need him right now. I have spawned a few. So the second method is you use an RG. Because as you saw, swimming around is quite difficult after them. So you could use a scuba kit to make it a little bit easier. But that's a, like, that's a level 80 sort of thing. And you sort of want the otter's early game. So if you got to RG, which is also quite late in the game... You could do this little method. So as you can see, he's holding him in his mouth. Um, and I'll show you how to do this. Oh, my bad. Just need to kill you. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> so basically, when they come close to the top of the water, uh, which we won't be able to show right now, uh, you right-click to pick them up like this. So you carry them on your foot. And then drop them onto land. Swoop back around. And on the keyboard, it's C. You press C, picks them up in their mouth. I don't know what it is on console, the equivalent. But then this guy will keep this little otter in his mouth. If you've got ally looking on, when you get close to the... When you get close to the RG, he'll actually look down to you. And he'll just be like, hey, how you doing? And he'll, you can feed it the fish. So that's another method. So you go in, kill the fish, and bring it out and feed it like that. The probably easier and preferred method is with this guy. Which I showed you in Tame last episode, so uh, make sure you go check that out if you want to find out how to tame this guy. Um, and this guy with the hunter retrieve can bring the fish to you, so you don't have to go kill the fish and then find the otter again. Because trust me, the otters are hard to find when they're swimming around a huge lake. They are so fast. You go to get a fish, you turn around, and they swim faster than you, so it's super difficult. So what you want to do is, once you've tamed one of these, which I'll show you last episode, you want to change it to hunt and retrieve. So you just keep going, cycling through there until you get to hunt and retrieve. Now this guy will hunt down, obviously, what you all the fish that you want. So, ba -do, ba -do, let's have a look. Okay, so it's on hunt and retrieve. We're gonna whistle it to attack that. He goes down, he grabs it. You stay by the otter and he'll bring it to you. Obviously there he just dropped it, like a noob. But also this will give a better taming effectiveness. So it'll take less fish because they're the golden fish. So uh, you either drag it to them in the water or you feed this guy. So I'm going to show you again just because that did not work how I wanted it to. Okay, so here we are. We're following this arsenal right now. And that guy... Uh, come on. Come over here. So we're following this 180 arsenal. We're going to tell this guy... If there was a fish, let's go way over in the distance, because obviously we want to keep stay by the otter. We're going to point the hunt and retrieve on that guy. He's going to go down, swoop down, grab the guy, and he'll bring it to us and drop it. Obviously, because he was right next to it, he dropped it next to us. So we just grab this now. And while we do that, we can get him to go and hunt and retrieve another one. Not this one, though. Leave this one alone. So then we go up to the otter, we feed the fish, and I gave it 34% tame. So now if we do it like this, we should have gone... He's hunted another one. If we go attack one of these and then feed it ourselves, it should give less percentage. See what I mean? It's super difficult to chase them down. Come here. So taming effectiveness is slightly different. That was 87%. I think our other otter was a lot higher. If you use this method, you get a higher taming percentage. Hey, look at this. You brought me another one. Thank you. We're just going to feed this one here so that it will look down, feed fish. Bam. Tamed. Thank you very much. It should be a decent one. Yeah, nearly 100% tame. Which is perfect. With normally, if we feed the fish, it would not be 100% tame. I just realized that one of the otters had ran off somewhere. I don't even know. I say you tame otters. Pretty simple. You either use an RG to pick one up and keep it in its mouth so you don't have to chase after it and just keep killing fish, bringing it over. You use the Ichigavornis, who can swipe down and bring the food to you while you're following the otter. Um, or you do it by hand or do it with a scuba kit. But the premise of the thing is that you need to feed it fish. Kill a fish, drag the body, feed it. And this guy will actually 
uh, give you a higher taming percentage if you use this guy. Which is awesome. Okay, okay, so let's get on to the otter's ability. First of all, they're just super cute. That's all you need to know. Look how cute these guys are. They can wear a helmet and they are a shoulder pit. So chuck the helmet on there. Bam. <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> so they can wear a helmet. They sit on your shoulder. Now these are early hunters. So they don't have much health. Stats wise, they're like... Pretty crappy, 500 elf and all that. But for early game, they will hunt fish. So if you're near water, and just like the, the little guy over there, it can work in, in tangent with this guy. You could chuck him in, and he will start attacking creatures. So you could either whistle him to attack something, and he'll go down and eat it. Or you turn this guy to um, aggressive. So if you go behaviors, um, attack your target, and turn it to aggressive, this guy will just start going around attacking fish for you, which is awesome. So, as you can see, you're just going for it. And what will happen is that he has a chance to actually get black pills and silica pills from just regular fish's inventory. Uh, we're going to ask, whistle them passive again right now. So, I don't want him getting killed. So, let's drag him back out. So, that's one of the main things. Early game, it'll get you a ton of fish meat uh, just by chucking him into the pond. Normally, if you're quite close to a fish and you double tap F off the shoulder, it will attack that fish. But only happens rarely. I can never get it to work. It might be because he's on passive at the moment. Did I want you here, sir? So as you can see in the inventory, we've got 21 fish. But we also got two pills already. A black pill and a silica pill. Just for killing a few fish. So this guy is great at getting any pills. He collects pull from the inventory. You can actually use these two in like, um, in sync. So if we get this guy to do hunt and retrieve. And we tell it to go get a fish. If we can see a fish somewhere. There we go. So he'll go get a fish and bring it back to us. And then you can use the otter to harvest that fish. The otter would be super happy. This guy brings back the fish. Like, look what I got. That's actually a huge fish, bro. And then the otter will eat this guy up and get all the meat for you. So you can just let them two do their thing. Uh, excuse me. Come back over here. I have finished with you, boy. The only issue is when you do that method, you can get prime meat. Because obviously when... This guy collects a creature. It gives the ability for it to be prime meat. And um, this guy will just harvest that prime meat at a much higher rate than what you could. And so is the normal meat. Unfortunately, you can't get pills from this method, though. So you can only get pills if the otter goes in and kills it. So that's the first thing, which is great. The second thing is insulation. So this guy actually works as, like, fur. It works better than fur for you. So let me just show you this right now. So at the moment, we're in... We've got hyperthermal insulation of 141 and hyperthermal insulation of 24. If we pick this guy up, we're now at 303. So let's just, let's just chuck that guy back down again. So this is what was before. 45. Pick him back up. 310 is climbing, and this one's climbing 102 at the moment. Um, as you see, that's climbing up. So this guy actually helps you survive in the snow biome. Um, without fur. If you have fur, it would obviously be an added bonus. But like Ragnarok Snow. You know that Ragnarok Snow? What I done was I got an otter and just pelted uh, Melee. And this guy was amazing. Melee will impact the hypothermal and the hypo insulation. So for example, if we just pick this guy back up right now. These are stats that we had. 322, right? So if now if I go into this guy's inventory and level up his melee damage, it's only a little bit, so it's not going to be like a huge difference. One, two, four, three, two, four, and one, one, one. So you want to, and then it's going up to three, three, one. If you want to use this guy as like a thermal sort of coat <laughs> to keep around your neck, a nice little scarf, then you want to push up the melee. That will give you more of that thermal protection. It also has the same sort of effect as the Jaboa, as it's a backpack. So anything that you chuck in this inventory, any weight that you chuck in here, when you pick it up, it will only be half on your inventory. Now, obviously, I'm in creative mode, so I can't show you that. But it will have any, anything that you put in its inventory, and then you pick him up, it will be half in your inventory. So you'll be carrying half the weight of what this guy's carrying. So that's a pretty cool effect. Like all creatures that you put around your neck, they will actually fight back when you're being attacked. They will only do little damage, just like 5, 6 damage. But if you're attacking something on a dino and this guy's on your shoulder, he'll be attacking stuff too. Uh, so he's really cool, but just be wary that this guy can be hit while he's on your shoulders. So he may die. 
You want to be want to put a helmet on this guy. Keep him safe. He's your companion. And the last thing that Arctos are good for, which is probably the main thing. I uh, know the hyperfermia is probably the main thing. That's what I use it for. Um, Arctos could carry more than one artifact. Uh, so if you try to do boss challenges, right here we've got three of the um, hunter artifacts. So if I try to drag these in my inventory, I can only carry one. And that's the same with every dino. Every dino can only carry one. Apart from the otter. The otter has this amazing ability where it could carry more of the same. So if I wanted to carry um, all the different artifacts, I could. But I couldn't carry duplicates. But the otter here can carry duplicates. Which is amazing. If you go in hot, uh, if you go for the, like, the artifact hunting. So for example, you go into a cave. And most time in caves, it glitches out. So as soon as you take the artifact, another one's replaced straight away. Well, you could then put one of them into the artifact and pick up another one. And then you've got two, which is amazing. So this guy is just now carrying three artifacts. And that weight is halved on your back. So um, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. And all in all, this guy is just an awesome, uh, just a companion. Look at how cute he is. He's just cute. Why wouldn't you want one of these? Why, why wouldn't you want one of these? Let me let me know down below why you want one of these. Anyways, guys, that is the otter. Um, I was a little bit tired making this video, so I apologize if it's all over the place. But to recap, you feed it with fish. You could use a little seagull guy. A better percentage on the taming effectiveness. Its abilities include hunting fish, which then allow you to get uh, black pills and silica pills at a slow rate. If you got the seagull, you can get the seagull to hunt to retrieve, which then will allow this guy to collect prime meat, which is amazing, but you won't get the pearls if you do it that method. It's a insulation, portable insulation, so when you go to the snow biome, um, it will keep you warm. And it won't, you won't freeze, you have to open melee for that. It's a backpack, so you can halve the weight. Anything that you chuck in there is halved on you, so if you want it as a backpack, you'll up its weight and health. Um, and then it is the artifact carrier. So you can put multiples of the same artifacts in this dino, and it's the only dino that can do that. Anyways, that is the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the and that is everything on the otter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.